Hey everyone, it's Sean. Welcome back to the channel. We've got the uh, QSC MX1500 dual monorail amplifier or, or dual channel amplifier. Now, I bought this uh, about $160 used. I think that's a pretty fair price, but the left channel doesn't work. Actually, the reason why I bought it is because the, the um, the church we attend, uh, their PA board took a lightning strike, took out a bunch of uh, outputs on their powered amplifier board down there, took out a bunch of speakers. And so we got a new PA board, but it wasn't a powered board. So I bought this uh, to just drive a few speakers and realize the left channel doesn't work. Um, so we've got uh, another amp in there now with a new PA board. I've got this that I'm going to repair so we can drive independent speakers left and right channel and get this back to there. And eventually I'll get around to repairing that guy down there and got a video coming up on these speakers as well. So quite a bit to do with that PA system, but this video is going to focus primarily on this MX-1500. So uh, power on, it's very noisy. The on-off switch doesn't stay in an off position. I'm not sure that's supposed to be the case um, and then the left channel doesn't work right channel does work but our pots no matter what are super noisy I believe we got a short in here and I'll show you what I mean we'll power it up and uh, super bright at first that bulb is actually gone down in brightness but my phone is compensating so you can see left channel. That clipping light is that noise that's on that pot. I'll, I'll put a small speaker up to it just to show you. But um, this side, don't be fooled by that green light. The minute you go above, yeah, it just instantly goes into protect mode, and so that's not good. We got an issue on this side right here. Not an issue on that side. It kind of makes me wonder if that's why this doesn't stay down. Maybe somebody high, hard wired it on. I, I don't know. Just to keep it running so they had a channel working, but no bueno. And just for laughter, I hooked this little eight ohm, six or eight ohm speaker up to it. So that way I can turn this volume pot and you can hear the crackling. Ooh, that one scared me. Ooh, that one scared me. All right, so yeah, you can see tell that the volume pots really aren't good. I'm not even gonna bother with that one. Uh, I already know that channel is bad and at the risk of blowing up my speaker that I don't wanna do, even though I have no audio going through it. Just not gonna attempt to do that. So I suppose what I'm gonna do right now is just uh, power this down and uh, we'll take it apart and take a look at the inside of it. Well, I'm gonna do my best to walk you through everything I see with my little Logitech camera. Two big transformers, that's good for powering independent sides of our uh, board here. And we got input audio coming from the back, okay. And then here is the uh, right channel or amplifier, or we'll say channel two. And the left channel amplifier over on this side, okay. Uh, which has been inverted inside the chassis of this product. Okay, so we'll have AC coming here. It looks like we've tapped off a portion of that AC where it's rectified to run that. No, no. Um, no, that's getting tapped right off of the AC. Okay, so running the fan that we see back there. 
Uh, let's see. Power comes in. We have at least two rectifiers, full wave bridge rectifiers. Uh, probably powering two independent stages of amplification. We'll probably a push pull stage. Um, given that we have a plethora of uh, output power transistors, uh, let's see, 2SB554 followed by 2SD424, so that's most likely a B amplifier, and a handful of power resistors or emitter resistors. We've got quite a few big caps as well for filtering and conditioning uh, either our mains voltage uh, what's being converted to DC or uh, maybe even some audio filtering as well. I am going to assume that everything I see on this side, um, as far as components and layout, that it is mimicked over on this side. And so, uh, you know, it's also very, 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 very dirty. But, uh, you know, other than cleaning it up, I think I'm going to first focus on this side. And most likely we have bad output transistors, which is most likely why this side is clipping and not working. So I'm going to break down this side a bit more uh, over here and get it onto our bench. All right. So I have it out and uh, off camera, I decided to probe around the board just a little bit. And really the, the only thing that was standing out to me was the condition of the pot on uh, all my output uh, transistors. Uh, I had no shorts. Emitter resistors were all measuring with intolerance. Actually, all the resistors were diodes seemed to be good. Rectifiers all seemed to measure good. The only thing that di didn't measure, at least in circuit, uh, did not give me any alarm. Uh, the only thing that did give me alarm was our pot potentiometer, as you well know. Well, what I've done is uh, you can see that this is uh, it's a 20k pot uh, basically we're measuring like 15k I might not have the uh, best position on this but we're measuring 15k and I'm not measuring from the sweeper and 16k I, I sprayed it out with some QD cleaner because uh, from the the sweeper to the outside at periods I was getting around 300 K ohms so now you can see right here we're pretty linear 1649 that's 16,000 as I decrease you know, these 20K pots aren't super accurate. Uh, you see, as I decrease, we're, there's no jumping around between a higher resistance to lower. Uh, maybe in that one point right in there, but I don't know. That was it uh, dropping down in value. Okay. So we go all the way down to zero ohms and as I increase As they increase, yeah, it seems to be pretty linear. There we go. 
So it's very possible that the issue I'm having was all due because uh, the pot was basically going open and that might have triggered something within the circuit saying, uh, I, I don't know. But it was at least putting it in a protect mode. Uh, so what I'm going to do, because I already know the other pot is noisy as well, so I'm going to uh, clean it out and get this back into the chassis. And we're going to see if we can get any audio through this thing. All right, we have it back together. Let's get it turned on. Green light on both. I'm not getting any clipping. After cleaning out these pots. And uh, not on that side either. It looks like it might have just been the uh, potentiometer that was causing that fault. Uh, let me get some audio into this and we'll test that theory. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken uh, the headphone output of my computer speakers. And then uh, fed it to... Um, what is this? Channel 2 input. And we'll test channel 2. I got the speaker hooked up to channel 2 as well. We'll test it. Then I'll move the speaker over to channel 1 and we'll test that one. So let me get this powered up again. And we're on. I'll play a bit of royalty free music from my computer. All right, so that channel is working. I now need to move the speaker over. So we'll go to channel one. We'll move our audio over from channel two to channel one. And let's see if we got the same thing. And we do. Yeah, channel one is now working. Well, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Pretty relatively easy fix this go around, and I'm very surprised by it. The only thing that was causing our fault was our potentiometer and it having a high, uh, in case needing to get cleaned out, going to high resistance, causing this uh, amp to go into protect mode. So for now, she's working, and I think that's going to do it just fine. Uh, well, I was there to say, a relatively simple fault, and hopefully you uh, at least enjoyed this video and, you know, follow along with me. All that being said, uh, thank you for watching this episode of Having Fun Repairs. If you're in, you got audio equipment in need of repair, uh, you can reach out to me through my website. There's an email address and a form to fill out. Please don't call me directly. I do not uh, answer phone calls until I've had other correspondence with you. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I mean, you're already here. You might as well do it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. No matter what though, take care and mm, goodbye. Mark?